So in just two days, Josh and myself will be heading down to the US of A to do a collab with a super awesome YouTuber, someone who's been mentioned on our channel before. Leave a guess down in the comment section below. If you happen to get it right, you'll be entered in a giveaway to win one of these dope Rising Legends t-shirts. Smash that like button and enjoy the rest of the video. What's going on guys, good morning. So I just wanted to show you guys what I first drink in the morning. This is as soon as I wake up, I start with L-carnitine. I take one scoop of that and I have one scoop of Oxy Shred. One scoop. <laughs> as well as five milligrams of creatine. So thermogenic fat burner as well as the acetyl L-carnitine often stack together. They certainly do aid with fat loss keyword aid. Josh is going to go into more detail on that later in the video. When it comes to the creatine, a lot of people ask when is the best time to take creatine. Um, studies have actually shown that it doesn't exactly matter. I just like doing it in the morning because I don't have to worry about it throughout the day. I just get it done with. So usually I'll start off with these three products, get about a half an hour um, of work done, you know, be nice and productive and then I'll go into my morning shake. There's the whip, bud. There she is, man. Oh, yeah. Aston to Martin. A man once told me, how do you make sense of insanity? Some days I just gotta be alone, yeah Just so I can get up in my zone, yeah Reason why I don't pick up my phone, yeah What the heck? You s I swear I can never find a clip, but look at this What? Living in the moment, bitch, I'm zoning Bitch, I'm zoning Living in the moment, bitch, I'm so yeah. Bitch, I'm so yeah. Living in the moment, bitch, I'm so yeah. Summertime cruising, catch me in the zone 20 Cruising on the pavement while I'm bumping Machiavelli so as you guys know with the last shred, the focus was all about that OPA RPS powerlifting meets. And when you're trying to get ready for powerlifting, it's very hard to focus on kind of muscular development and your physique. Hypertrophy really becomes second and you get really tanked with those deadlifts, squats, bench, everything like that. But this summer, we're gonna keep on with our powerlifting. We hit our deadlifts nice and heavy here. Got 535 for a nice clean triple, which felt really good to get back at it. But for today and for the rest of this summer, we're really gonna be working on the X factor. So getting nice and wide, really bringing out the delt, bringing up the chest, working on the abs, really still pushing the legs. That's critical. You guys, if you really wanna grow, you also need to grow the lower half. Your body's gonna grow in proportion. If you have a huge upper body, lower little legs, it's not gonna look good, feel stupid, and you're gonna be very off balance. So it's really important that you're hitting those legs. So we do our legs every fourth day, but now the focus, we're gonna do a lot of trap work because I find I've always had really weak traps. And if I, once again, if I really wanna work on that X factor, if I really wanna look kind of hulky and wide, Kyle's really wide shoulders gifted, me not so much. So I'm gonna really work on developing shoulders to look wide, work face pulls, rear delts to really kind of give me that full delt look and just focus on getting a good sickening pump and just coming in and smashing it, getting good sweat, keeping that intensity and just killing these workouts through and through guys and that's what it's all about. It's going to be the beach body kind of summer, a little bit different than the strength focus last series. If you guys are really into strength, check out that series too. It was a banger. Let's get on with the day. So to address the title of this video, one of the questions we get asked all the time is like, if I take supplements, am I gonna get huge instantly, you know? And a lot of people will say, oh, I don't want protein, I don't want creatine, because that's steroids. I'm not, I'm not taking that, I don't wanna get too big. But what you guys need to think about is the actual name of them. They're supplements, they're supplemental. And for ourselves, one of the main reasons we signed with the HP Labs as a sponsor, a lot of uh, supplement sponsors will make you push things that you don't believe in or you don't feel have too much 
of an important effect or that are kind of just over the top and unnecessary. But even right away, like when we had our initial Skype with our rep, he's a great guy, he said, yeah, like we're here to let you guys do your thing. Like we know supplements are supplemental. They help aid your training, but they're not the answer. If you're gonna be having supplements, you need to make sure your diet, your training, your mentality are all on point. Like that is critical first and foremost, then supplements come in after and they can do a lot of positive aids for that. As far as how much do they help and do they really kind of serve a role to make a huge difference, uh, you could argue yes and no. Some people go kind of without and they'll limit it, but I would say they actually have a huge effect for me on my training, like almost an instrumentally large role because what you need to keep in mind is there's placebo, there's comfort, there's like, it just helps kind of force you into your situation. So like, as you saw, me and Kyle have our morning shake and taking that every day gets me in the zone, it gets me fired up. I love having that, uh, the kind of thermogenic product early on where it kind of gets me kicking, caffeine's pumping, everything feels good. I just feel really nice after that initial shake. It tastes incredible, especially if you have good supplements. EHP Labs taste profiling is ridiculous and they just make life easier. Myself, I'm 210 pounds or so right now, and I'm running about 200 grams of protein at this stage when I cut. It's very hard to eat 200 grams of protein on like 3,000 cows. Believe it or not, you gotta be having a lot of lean meats throughout the day. So just supplementing with two to three scoops of protein throughout the day really helps me in that regard. But what you guys need to consider, a fat loss supplement is not there to make you lose fat. It's calories in, calories out, expenditure. You have to consider all the different things like TDE and your metabolism and everything that goes around that. But they really do aids, they're all aids. You know, they all serve a purpose. And if you guys wanna learn more about what purpose supplements actually do serve, I really recommend talk, checking out our top five supplements for uh, Natural lifters. For natural yeah. lifters. That's the other thing. Some, some supplements <laughs> are going to do some stuff, but we stay away from that and we're not the channel to be <laughs> checking out for that stuff. We keep it natural. We keep it cool. Like We're all about doing this for a lifestyle and bettering ourselves and growing. And that's what the series is all about, guys. It's making results at a respectable rate, doing it appropriately, naturally, and kind of growing the legacy. So saying so, more or less in conclusion, the way I see it is once I have my training down, my sleep down, uh, my nutrition down, supplements do give me a huge edge. I would actually say probably, if I'm supplementing properly, I'm actually improving myself 15 to 20%, I would go that far. Some people would argue that might not be the case, but they really hold me down, like it keeps me accountable. You know, you have that pre-workout, you're fired up to go to the gym and it's gonna transfer into other realms. And that's something you can't necessarily measure with muscle gain or fat loss per se, but even for me and Kyle, like if we're out, and we've, we've had our food super early in the day and we're starving, it's really amazing to be able to have two scoops of amino acids that taste incredible. So I'm gonna sit on something that's there that's gonna keep me away from foods and that's gonna help me reach my goals that much more. So supplements, if you use them right, will make such a big difference and I have to say, EHP protein, um, EHP the fat burner every morning, the acetyl carnitine really help, creatine has a ton of help, but once again you'll hear more about that in our supplement video. And pretty much, I know I miss amino acids for sure, did I already say that? Yeah, I don't know. But oh, whatever, either way. twice a day. <laughs> so yeah, like it really does make a big difference and I really recommend them, but before you, just so you guys know conclusively, all you need to know is that it won't solve all your problems. If you just get a regular Joe and you give them a bunch of supplements, it's not gonna do anything. They need to be integrated with a good training regimen, good sleep, and good nutrition. By the way, if you guys wanna save 10% off ehplabs.com, we've got code Colossus10, and uh, make sure to use that and support us, and we'll support you guys. So